Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So you may have seen my run of Exeminids Reliquary where I showed on the bottom right there what you might call some plugins. Basically you can see the list there of the players and their DPS and their deaths. That's how I have it sorted. And then above that we have some spell timers. So we have like the Withering Ray. That is the purple effect where it applies a damage over time effect to you for 20 seconds and after that 20 seconds it explodes causing quite heavy area damage around you so you need to move away from players and you only need to move away from players at that 20 second mark so you can see two, in two seconds it's gonna go boom and then you would know you'd have to make sure you're spread apart for that time that's very important for a melee damage dealer because Knowing that then you know when to optimize your time on the boss and when it's really important to move away rather than having to like alt out and then mouse over the purple debuff on your buff bar to check its timer. You can easily see it there. So very handy for this new trial. So I'm going to go over how you can set that up for yourself, how you can set up these nice displays where you also don't have to press X then to see the damage board, how well you are doing and then also see the other players deaths. So the tool we're using is the advanced combat tracker. There should be a link below where you can access this PDF which will lead you to where you can download the combat tracker itself, the plugin and then also my settings. Downloading my settings and importing them will make it a whole lot easier. The last time I made this video going over how you can set up your advanced combat tracker was about a year ago and I've discovered quite a few more tricks with it by now. So let's cover the basics. So first things first, download these three things, stick them in a folder and then you should have here your ACT version 3 setup. You can double click that, click yes that you want to install it and then you'll get this installation guide. It'll ask you where you want to install it and then you'll need to accept and hit install. It's that simple and then you should get a link on your desktop to the ACT. Double clicking that should open the program just like this. This is the bare bones. Now what you want to do is you want to go to options. You want to go to configuration import export. Probably look like this first. Go configuration import export. Here you just want to click import and you want to find the place, the folder of which you downloaded and put the settings for the advanced combat tracker. Here I have my settings and we're going to go and open those. Now if you have two monitors, ACT will get put on your primary monitor as that's where I generally have it and I have never went to open on my secondary monitor. Now what you need to do is make sure to have enabled the plugin neverwinter.cs you might have to go click browse here find that neverwinter.cs open it and then click add enable plugin if you already have it active you'll get a bunch of errors now in order to get any data on your advanced combat tracker your parsing tool you need to go in game and you need to type in the command combat log one with a space there now, you will not be able to do this on console. So yeah, this is a PC only thing. So once you have that code enabled right there, you can go in combat and you can gather your data. You can see it displays our data in game, but what this code is doing is compiling all that data in a text document. And then you can use that data in a parsing tool right here. We can see it's already activated for me. It may not show this for you. What you will need to do is you'll need to go to options. You'll need to go to miscellaneous and you'll need to go and click open log. Here's where you're going to have to find your game where you have Neverwinter installed. For me, it will default to the last place I opened a combat log. What you may need to do initially is go to your this PC and just search in here Cryptic Studios. That way you will find the folder where Neverwinter is installed. It may vary slightly from if you're using Steam or Arc Games or Epic Games, but you should still be able to find it. Once the folder pops up, we double click that and this is where Neverwinter is installed. You want to go to the Neverwinter folder here and then 
depending if you're on the live server there or the preview server or even the beta server you want to go to one of these sections it'll be the same depending on what chart you're on but we're on the live server so we double click that then we go to logs then we go to game client and here is where you will find your combat logs you will find them amongst all this other stuff which you can freely delete, but you may see a bunch of combat logs here depending on how many you have recorded. Just be aware it will take up space and you might want to delete older ones if you don't need them anymore. But you want to go and you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom to activate the newest combat log. It'll probably have the small size there, but it'll be way down at the bottom. So going back here, this is where we're looking for the log. We go, we scroll down and it should be the bottom one. We go, we click open that and now we go back to the main page and you should see whenever we're in combat and fighting something, dealing damage, receiving damage, receiving healing and so on, then the combat log will be parsing the data. And this is kind of live. You'll see the time ticking. You'll see the encounter DPS, the damage. And if you have my settings, you'll see it exactly like this. Now, if a fight is over and you want to look back on the log, let's say you never activated it here to show it or didn't have it open, then you can go to import export. You can go select file and you can open that log. Again, you need to find your Cryptic Studios folder, your Neverwinter live logs game client. And here you can click open. You can then click, uh, you just use above, close, and then main. And you should be able to see here the imported zone with then the combat time, the encounter time. And this is where you can see, for example, myself here, we can double click the name, we can go to outgoing damage, and we can see then our encounter DPS, how much damage we've done, the duration, the maximum hit, the minimum hit, the amount of hits, our crit rate, our flank rate, that's like our positioning for combat advantage, and then like our effectiveness. Now, what you can do to enable what you see here, like these plugins, is you need to click here, show timers and show mini. What you should get popping up is spell timers and mini parse. These you can put anywhere you want. I generally have them down here. I'm just going to go and uh, quickly import my own settings. Again, the ones that I use for the positioning and then everything gets adjusted to the correct positions where I like it down here. Now you can see you might have it when you go and click on these that you have like these borders around them and you have like the X. What you can do is you can right click them up here, right clicking them puts them so that now you can click through things like you can click behind things and it's going to be an overlay and you don't have to worry about, yeah, like accidentally closing them. They'll always be there. And what they do is, again, when we go into a fight, as long as we have on our combat tracker opened in miscellaneous, the active log that's being recorded, you will see that we obtain right here our like damage, our DPS, and then we'll also get this withering ray effect, which is exactly that, this purple power up here. So going back into the fight again, we can deal damage and you can see our DPS there on the chart. And whenever Xemnid goes and activates withering ray, we will see that pop up immediately. And you may even hear there with the game sound, the little donk donk like a bell and you can set that up for yourself as well the way you do that the way you edit these is let's just uh, die here uh, doing doing so we should be able to then open our combat tracker here and again we have show timers show mini you can click on them they disappear click on them they appear again right click on them and you'll be able to edit them in order to edit the spell timers you right click on it and you'll get this page right here. So if you have my settings, we have Howl of Madness. That is when you're fighting Demogorgon. Whenever he lets out that howl, you see it put a 30 second or 31 second timer. And that's when he'll do his next howl. And that's when you can make sure you have some mitigation active for that. So pretty neat. But with these spell timers options, you can also set, like we have in Withering Ray, this music notification effect. You can click the three dots here. You can go to like browse for WAV and you want to find like your file right here. I have it as like 
donk donk you can find your own you can create your own as well using tool like audacity or something if you want to have that little sound effect for when it pops up so you don't have to like pay full attention to that on the bottom right all the time set ones up for other timers and you can set other timers up for other content as well like the cocoon and the temple of the spider the last boss you can go through you can set your timers here this is like the duration of the timer you can have these different settings to have it like i do you can change the scale of the font you can change the opacity if you want this a little bit see-through so on and so forth and in order to edit the mini parser just here you need to go to options and you'll need to go to mini parse window just here this will allow you to adjust some things like the font the colors and then more importantly you need to go here to add a preset and this gives you the options of how you want to have it set up now for me it doesn't quite work in order to obtain like the titles ideally i would have a bunch of titles you can see like right here we'd have the name dps and deaths and editing this we can adjust these t's in brackets to adjust the spacing we can remove this one and then it would have it like this name dps and deaths but right now it doesn't show up i'm not sure if you maybe find a way to make that work you can let me know but so far we just have all the participants in combat and then we have their dps and we have their deaths and that just displays pretty nicely right there you can of course go through here add different things like your damage output your maximum hits etc so overall it's a very useful tool to be able to compare different things to be able to analyze data and just having the ability to show these timers and to show the mini dps chart there can help a lot in content and especially in this new trial again with that withering ray you'll be able to instantly get that activation where you can see if the purple is up or not like you're in a 10-man raid and you could be three other people in the other party who have the withering ray active and you can't see those other three people because you can only see the people in your party and so you won't know if this withering ray is active you, again you can see the timer there 11 seconds 10 seconds it's equal to what we see here and when the timer runs out it bursts and causes that area damage around us so hopefully this is somewhat insightful you guys how you can set it up for yourself just to get the, the mini parser there and the spell timers along with what settings i use to optimize my act to make it easier to present the data and compare things so massive thank you again to all these channel members for their added support and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now